Okay, now this is a quick follow-up video to the previous brick painting video that I had. Uh, this is the same wall that I did. It was undercoated in white, and we have two washes uh, on top to bring out the brick. And the brick looks pretty good when you look at it this way. Very easy to do. The problem with that one is when you back out all of the way, the whole dungeon looks pretty bland. It looks pretty dark and brown, and nothing really stands out. Well, I think I fixed the problems with that. Behind it here is a sample of the new paint job that I have, and the walls are painted basically with the same washes, just a little bit different technique. Now, you can kind of see some of the different things that I've done. I've painted the floor differently from the walls, and I've found a way to make these wall tops stand out a little bit, and also provide a little shading in the shadows around the walls. What this video is going to do is to give you a very quick glimpse of the steps used to do this. And I promise in two to three weeks I will put out extensive painting videos with the exact mixtures that will tell you exactly how to do this. This is white house paint and I'm not even going to bother to dilute it. Okay, now I've got the first side hit pretty well. Go back and make sure that you don't have any uh, big drips in the corners and that sort of thing. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and paint this on, and I'm going to be fairly liberal with it. Okay, now at this point I've completely painted over the piece, and you'll notice especially on the very tops, it's going to pool up quite a bit. So you want to kind of get that uh, out of the tops there, and then I'm scraping it off, you know, back over here. Now when you're painting it, uh, your paint mixture needs to be, you know, thin enough, you know, thick enough where it will cover but we really don't want brush strokes on here so I am going to uh, continue this it's like well we're not uh, we're not quite there yet I still need a little bit more to match what I've got so I'm gonna get a little bit more paint here a little more on the paper towel and we're gonna keep doing this until we get all of the pieces done so you can kind of see what the uh, what it looks like before and after so we're just gonna apply this wash over the top of it and I would uh, stir up this wash uh, between uh, every other piece that you do. This is what we had done when we dry brush it. It looks pretty good. And this is what we had done after the ink wash that goes over top of it. I think the one with the ink wash is just, it's just a bit richer. So to glue this on, we're just going to take our Aline's Tacky glue here. I'm just going to start with the back. I, don't, I think it could go on either way. It's not really going to matter. Uh, be sure that you apply a, a really good uh, bead of glue on this. You want this to, to hold down really well. And I'm going to start on the, on the brick wall at the top, and I'm going to work my way down because I don't want it to set on the, uh, I don't want it to set on the bottom too long. And well, while I'm at it, let's go ahead and get the top, huh? Might as well do it while we're doing it right. Okay, there we go. We've got everything covered. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to scrape off the brush get the excess off of it and I'm gonna come down here and I'm just gonna mop up drips like around the top of the arch it looks like it's really really steep alrighty so it's a uh, baby wipe time so we're gonna grab a baby wipe here and I'm gonna start with the floor because I want the floor to blend in nicely so if I wipe this I'm hoping it will wipe off the floor pretty well and it looks like yeah it looks like it's wiping off the floor pretty well so I'm gonna go ahead and wipe this around here and that'll kind of blend that into the floor. And what I'm going to do is I'm just kind of go over the major surfaces, like, you know, the front of that, these buttresses. I'm going to go ahead and wipe them, kind of like that. And notice I'm flipping this over and using a new side of it once it gets dirty. I'm going to go across the tops of the arches here. And just going to kind of go up the sides. And then as far as the uh, main part back here, I'm trying to get this wrapped around my finger right. I'm just going to kind of hit the center. And I'm going to hit the center here. And then I'm going to kind of wipe up the sides. Now as far as the top, I'm just going to kind of go on each edges of the brick on the top. And the filling, that dirt filling or that, uh, I don't know what you call it gravel, dirt, whatever that's filling between the bricks, I'm going to try to leave that. And I'm just going to try to wipe this off on the bricks like right here. So I'm going to wipe that, wipe that there. 
And once again, I'm going to do a final comparison of what our brick dungeon looks like after this method and what it kind of looked like before. So you can really see the difference. There's no shading in the arches. The, uh, the whole thing is pretty bland on this one. Even though the brick walls themselves look really good. And the one here, far away, the dungeon looks really good. And if you get up close, the brick still looks really nice. Really lots of detail. Lots of color. And I think this method is going to work out really nice to do our future expansions with all of the steampunk and city and other things that I have planned that I would like to do.